Hello everyone, so today I am at the Shed Aquarium. I'm so excited I can visit this public aquariums and I heard a lot of things. So let's dive in. Shed was designed by one of Chicago's most prestigious firm, Graham Anderson Preston and White. Master of the Beaux-Arts styles, he created a temple of white marble and terracotta that celebrate aquatic life. But where a Greek and Roman temple was built on a circling cross for open, the original building as an octagonal footprint. What a shoot had the architect built out the corner of the cross, giving shed its distinctive shape and creating room for reserve, fed rooms, and an early animal hospital. The aquarium get different exhibit. Island and lake, Amazon rising, river, ocean, the Great Lake, Polar Party Zone, Habot Oceanarium, Wild Reef, and the Caribbean Reef. Since 1930, Shed expanded twice, with both editions carefully respecting the original architecture that earned the Aquarium and National Historic Landmark designation. The modern Abbott Oceanarium, which opened in 1991, was linked physically to the original structure by using the same white Georgia marble on its exterior. The wide reef, which opened in 2003, was constructed 25 feet below street level and the original south terrace. They are not visible from the front of the aquarium. Together, this exhibit nearly doubled shed square footage and made possible vast habitat for marine mammal and large sharks and ray. John Chad wanted to give back to the city, which he had risen from stock boy to president of department of store giant Marshall Field and Company. Because every great city in the United States and Europe had a fine aquarium, he decides that Chicago must have the biggest and the best one. Mr. Shedd imagined a stately marble building and a collection of aquatic animals from around the world that would complement the two world-class institutions already in Grand Park, the Field Museum and the Art Institute of Chicago. We shared initial donation of $2 million. The nonprofit Shed Aquarium Society was formed on February 1, 1924. To construct, maintain, and operate an aquarium or museum of aquatic life exclusively for education and scientific purpose. So this is inside the shed aquarium. So we have also sharks with leopard, uh, black tips, and a big uh, gray one. And it just one coming in, just there, and say hello, hello everybody. So that's what shed is also about. John Shedd never saw his aquarium. He died in October 1926 at the age of 76. The board of directors carried on and ground was broken in November 1927. The John G. Shedd Aquariums opened on May 30, 1930. Every aquatic animal is beautiful. Each one features corals, patterns, and ribs exclusively and work for surviving and thriving in the water.
At Shed, they want to ensure that all underwater beauty is conserved, protect and truth because each animal play a critical role in maintaining the balance and health on its aquatic environment. I hope you like this visit, please subscribe, click the notification bell and see you in the next episode. After the visit, I go to the city visiting Chicago downtown and it was amazing as usual. Beautiful day, little bit windy, but I end my day fantastically. See you in the next one.